afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, nice 80 degree weather is going to be rolling in for a bit, so that means I'll be able to get some more riding done. But how is everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. Thank you for riding with me today. Uh, kind of a crappy week. Well, start of the week, I should say. Uh, had some things come up that, uh, well, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be, but it is. And the one opportunity I had, uh, they went with somebody else. So, yeah, well, I'll just keep trying. Keep trying and trying and trying and more trying, I guess. <laughs> Hey, what can you do? I mean... I haven't... I know I've recorded a bunch of videos and I have not put any out. And... Man, it's going on two weeks now. But... I'm kind of in a funk and I'm trying to get out of it and you know, I was just you know getting that other other job would have been great it would have been a morale booster but no oh well, you know like I said I got some other spots I'm going to try and go from there and hopefully everything works out Kind of just uh, kicking the pants to get motivated and do stuff. Can I beat the bus? Not sure if they're stopping there or not. Uh, maybe not. Nope. <laughs> That's good. Next year changes. Um, gonna be some more off-roading videos. I'm gonna do some truck stuff. What the heck is this guy doing? Uh, matter of fact, in October, uh, I'm gonna do. I shouldn't say mods. I mean, well, you can call them mods. I mean, they're like typical stuff. And I'm actually getting a truck sprayed underneath. So we'll go from there. Maybe I'll do a little vidya on that one. Yeah. Not maybe. I am gonna do one because why not? I, you know, I introduced everybody to the truck on the channel, and it, I think it's it's time to do some truck stuff. There'll be some other add-ons later on. You've got a couple friends that are kind of encouraging me to do a uh, suspension lift on the truck. I, I really don't want to right now because I got a warranty on the truck and I really don't want to avoid it right now. Because I'll use that son of a gun as much as I possibly can if something happens. If I have to pay a little out of my pocket to have somebody else fix it for a lot more, heck. I'll let the dealership eat the cost. I know, we'll play things by ear. I mean, later on, you know, get more subscribers and get monetized and stuff like that. And maybe set up a Patreon or something. Or Discord or something like that. Um... There'd possibly be a uh, motorcycle build. Well, it'd probably most likely be a star, uh, sportster. Not this one. It'd be another one. Because maybe with that other sportster there, I'll probably just give that away in the prize drying or whatnot. 
I don't know. We'll see. I haven't quite figured everything out. But that's that's in the future. It's not now. That's in the future. Ah, she wants to motor today. I like that. First week in October, I'm actually making an appointment to Crown out in Stanley, New York. A good friend that works there. I'm gonna order vent shades, bug shield, and then underneath we'll get uh, we'll, we'll get crowned. And for those who don't know what Crown is, it's a million times better than Z Bird. Or any rubberized undercoating you think you want to put underneath your vehicle, which sucks. And what it is is it's an oil-based solution that's sprayed underneath your vehicle, and it it gets right in there. It protects. There's also a rust inhibitor in it to help. So, yeah, as I was saying, it'll help out, it'll protect against rust, especially New York area here, where we use salt, we use a lot of it, and that will help. Z bark's fine, and if you're on, you know, if you're known to that product or whatever, but in my eye, well, no, Z bark's not fine. It's not fine at all. Truly not fine. I mean, if you don't stay on top of it, it cracks. Moisture gets in behind it, rots out everything. There's not even a rust inhibitor in it. So, you know, why, why waste the money? Nice house. Well, I won't be wasting my money with Z-Bird. I'm gonna go with Crown. And it's gonna be dirty in the beginning, too. I mean, it's messy. If you got a blacktop driveway, you might want to park in the grass, or if you got access to a dirt area to park in and let it drip, you know, that's good. Or if you hit your neighbors, just park in your neighbor's driveway. Let it drip all over that. So, that's coming up in October. I still have not found a winter beater yet. I do want one. I really don't want to drive pop can in the. I don't want to drive pop can in the in the snow and the salt and stuff this year. Uh, I gotta think of a name for this one. Because the four-wheeler, well, of course, ooh, that's loose. Four-wheeler's name is, well, we call it the Grizz because, well, it's a Grizzly. My truck is a pop can. Well, it's named pop can. Well, kind of, hence the uh, material it's made out of. So, so I call it pop can. It's a, it's a fun fitting name for the truck and I like it. So 
So I'll figure out a name for the bike. got a name and if you can think of a name put it down in the comments you know, and I'll pick the best one and that'll be the name for the bike house for sale uh, I'll take the basset home you can ride on the bike <laughs> I hear the basset hound bellow. Kind of taking a long way around. Just want to ride. Normally it's a six mile jaunt from my house to my friend's house, but I was like, you know what? I'm riding. I'll record the ride. You know what, that's probably about the fourth time I've done that already. This bike is in fifth gear and I'm trying to go for another one. I just need to order a six speed for this. <laughs> it just seems like it needs one. It really does. I know I get picked on because oh he was like, you're riding a girl's bike, you're riding a girl's bike. I'm like, well, whatever, so be it. I like girls too. Don't know if you guys have noticed in the video, but I bought something shiny. Really shiny. Yeah. People. Seen it. The guy wanted five bucks for it. I was like, all right, yeah, sure. I'll buy this piece of chrome that will go over the brow of my bike. to Latchworth on Sunday. Only one person showed up on a bike other than me. We rode down, we had a good time. I, you know, I wish, wish more people to join, but they're, they're stuck on football. And well, as you can tell, I'm not. I can, I can really care less for the game. I just kind of lost inter interest in it. I really kind of, I just don't care. I mean, Cowboys used to be my team. I used to, you know, I used to watch them and stuff. And then I just, it's like, you know, I really can't sit indoors, especially on a nice day and watch football. I really can't. Racing. I love watching drag racing, but when they changed everything around and drag racing was not on ESPN 2, it was on uh, Fox Sports 1, I think it was, um, for 
like a year or so I wasn't able to watch it because I didn't have the channel. But now Spectrum's like, oh yeah, we, everybody needs to have a box in every room that has a TV. So now I got the channel, now I'm busy doing stuff, enjoying, enjoying outdoors on two wheels, and just having fun with life, I guess. So that's, that's about it. And really not a whole lot. Uh, next summer though, we, uh, I'm going to get with a couple friends and we are going to plan rides and I will we'll get everything set. You know, to go up to Whiteface because that's going to be my goal. First things first though, I have to get some real comfortable ass padding for the bike. AKA, a new seat. And there is one thing I'm gonna kind of toy around with a little bit this winter and maybe next June. I see you, what's up? I thought it was a car. It was, it was a Honda. Yeah, they probably should have seen more. All right. Well, that's enough with that tangent. Let's go back to what I was talking about. So in June, I'm thinking about a um. Well, it's the other places called the gentleman ride. I'll call it the dapper ride. You know, all the guys get dressed up, you know, real dapper and everything. And, you know, if I can set up a couple places to ride to, you know, we'll have a meeting spot. And then we'll do a couple stops. And then, uh, and just have a good time. I mean, it's not going to be a short run. I'd actually like it to be kind of a little bit long or so. I mean, we go to meet up at, uh, was it there, Flatterdees or whatever it is up there in Macedon by Lowe's. Head down to the, the Turtle, Victor, uh, maybe Eddie O's, McGregor's. I don't know. You know, there's, there's places. It's, it's in the plans. I'll plan it out, work it out. But yeah. We'll do, uh, I'll call it the dapper ride. And you know, just everybody dress up, you know, all nice and dapper. And uh, we'll do the ride. So, that's my spiel. Coming to the end of my ride. So I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, bell, you know, all that good stuff, and again, thanks for the ride, bye-bye.